I'm Daniel. Today I am in western Montana and I'm going to climb to the top of Spar Peak and see what kind of view it has to offer. At this moment, Steve is down at the bottom of the state of Idaho. He was supposed to be doing a week-long trek in the Sawtooth, but word has it that he came down with a bad case of the of the coup, and I suspect he's going to be cutting it short. I don't know. I haven't heard from him for a while. I my guess is that he's probably on his way back to North Idaho right now. When Steve first started planning his week-long trek in the Sawtooth, I was uh, embittered that I could not join him. Uh, I had other commitments, but now it would seem fortune has smiled upon me. But we'll see, we'll see. The day is still young. A lot could go wrong. Here in Montana, summer has definitely concluded for the year. Right now, at one o'clock in the afternoon, the temperature's probably somewhere around 70 degrees. As I gain more altitude, I suspect it'll probably be maybe 68 or so. That's Fahrenheit. So a very pleasant temperature for hiking. Uh, in the night, I, I would guess that it, it's dropping down to 38, 40 degrees, something like that. So it gets cold now, but not cold enough to change the, the leaves colors just yet. Give us another two weeks, maybe three tops, and we'll have some autumn colors to share with you. I have promised Grant and Michelle that we're going to do an autumn hike before it gets too late and we don't have any more autumn leaves left. So we're gonna time that for probably mid-October. We're gonna probably do the Selkirks over in North Idaho. We'll wait and see. So I have that to look forward to. I'm headed over to Japan in in a few weeks. And I think I'm going to bring a, a GoPro or two with me and carry it around and do a little bit of a get a little bit of footage of some of the street scenes. I'm going to be in Okayama and Kyoto. Watashi wa Kyoto ni ikimasu. So the first part of this trail follows an old an old logging and mining road. Uh, there's not much left of it, but it's relatively flat. And as we branch off onto Spar Peak Trail, it becomes very steep and as I recall, initially it's very overgrown, but looks like there have been a few people tramping through here and knocking back some of the some of the brush, which, which is excellent because a lot of the brush in here is the thorny type, devil's club and stinging nettle, speaking of the devil. There it is right there. I'll tell you what, you're in a world of hurt if you let one of those brush against your leg. They are nasty. They are nasty. If I recall correctly, this trail is uh, consistently steep. I can't. I don't recall any any part of it that's anything resembling flat, but go figure, you're climbing to the top of a mountain, you kind of expect it to go up, at least as you're hiking in. And, uh, on the really bad ones, they're going up as you come out too. Uphill going in, uphill going out. Well, or maybe not. Seems like that sometimes. So, Steve and I have received quite a bit of 
feedback from multiple viewers of our channel and people have consistently told us they would like us to talk more in our videos don't just have quiet hiking or beautiful scenery with music don't disclude that but don't make that the entire video they would like us to talk more and share our personalities and our insight with with you that said you may regret that <laughs> so if you plan to do this hike be advised be advised that there's some this is a steep hike this is every bit as steep as scotchman peak or goat mountain star peak lookout uh, i'd say up front you're averaging somewhere between 25 to my goodness this is this is close to i'd say that's 40 degrees i would exaggerate and say 45 but i know better it's a uh, if this were slippery you'd be on your hands and knees to do this this is a as expected going up a, a mountain like this so i'm going to be in in Kyoto the the first week of October I'm really looking forward to it Kyoto's Kyoto Japan is a beautiful city with a lot of history and very unique architecture just what a beautiful place in the springtime it's awesome but in fact I prefer it in the in the autumn time when all of the maple trees are, are turning colors and there's a cool crisp breeze blowing and you can you know walk into a sidewalk noodle noodle shop and get a nice warm bowl of udon uh, really really looking forward to it have a few chinese friends that are going to come try and come over from shanghai to hang out with me in Kyoto haven't seen them for a few years so I really hope that this will turn out to be the trip that I'm anticipating and I'll bring like I said I'll bring a GoPro or two try and snag a little bit of a little bit of footage to share with you in the meantime we keep plodding up this very steep trail man where's grant when you need him if i had grant here i'd hitch a water skiing rope to the back of him and make him tow me up whoo boy this is a steep one what a steep trail My breakfast has worn off. My wife promised to make me munam tok, some Thai food. When I get back, that's my favorite Isan food. It's a kind of a garlic pork, garlic pork, and sticky rice and cabbage. Man, it's good. So good. Looking forward to it, but I have some hiking to do first before I can eat that. So I'll just make do with jerky or something until then. Hope my hope my wife doesn't forget to make Thai food for me. So when I get back from this hike, I can eat. Yeah, that's not Thai food.
recently, too many people that I know have, have passed away. Most of these were, were childhood friends, people that I grew up with. And before the list gets any longer, I decided to pay a quick visit down to my hometown, see some old friends, catch up on times, some of whom I hadn't seen in, in decades. There's something sobering about the realization that one's youth is gone. For me, it's been a lesson hard taken. I always, I always knew I'd get old, I just thought it would take longer. <laughs> and yet there I was, you know, looking at my, my old friends, trying to fathom the the strange transformation that time had wrought upon all of us. And every time I, I thought, wow, you guys look old, I remembered that so do I. <laughs> uh, anyway, as several of our friends had, had recently shuffled off their mortal coil, our conversation inevitably you know, focused on our own mortality. And, you know, of course we made stupid jokes about who would be next you know but there was a poignant discomfort in our jest and and perhaps some existential angst mixed in there but you know as often is the case humor humor is 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 pain at a distance and our humor was very poorly disguised pain Anyway, our conversation became an ongoing discussion that that examined some of the you know some of the fundamental questions that that all of us should be asking ourselves throughout our lives. You know, why wait until why wait until you're in the autumn of your life to examine your purpose and find meaning in your existence? You should be getting on with that. As soon as possible. Sitting up here on this Montana mountain with a cool breeze blowing and autumn in the air, here's my old man advice to you, and it's your prerogative to take it or leave it. Make peace with the inevitability of your own death. The sooner you can do that, <sighs> the more peace you can have throughout your life. Don't let your struggle with existential angst and the anxiety that comes from that, don't let it cripple you. Be kind and compassionate to others, but be kind and compassionate to yourself. Find a meaningful purpose to your life. Only you can decide what that is. Nobody else can tell you that. But find a purpose. Nihilism. Nihilism is a heavy and, and cynical perspective to channel throughout one's life. Don't do that to yourself. The next time you ponder your place in the cosmos and you wonder is all of this, is the universe the consequence of nothing more than a cold mechanical machine, chemical reactions, almost cruel in its apathy? The next time you start to wonder this, bear this in mind. We are, at the very least, avatars of the universe. Think about that for a minute. The universe is, at least, as kind, moral, compassionate, and loving as you and I. Through our eyes, the universe is gazing upon itself, reflecting upon the wonder. Through our ears, the universe hears the harmonies around. We are, we are the witnesses, we are the, 
the vessels, the vessels through which the universe becomes conscious of its glory and magnificence. We are this, at the very least, we are this, are we not? What if the meaning of life is just to be alive? <laughs> Why overcomplicate things? Many of us find ourselves bearing a great burden with a heavy sense of purpose to achieve something greater than ourselves. Why not just live in harmony with the universe? We go with the cosmic flow. Do you remember that, that light-hearted and playful way that you viewed your life when you were a child? I, I can remember it. it. It's a very distant memory, but I, I can still remember it. Well, why did we ever deviate from that? All of these many things that trouble our minds are transient and ultimately pointless worries. Find a beam of sunshine within yourself and play. All right, let's go take a look at this mountain. Well, we're getting there. Looks like uh, we're starting to see the beginning of autumn up high. Must be getting a little bit colder up here. Some of the huckleberry bushes are starting to turn red. That's encouraging. Autumn is always my favorite time of year. I love it. Someday when I moved to Thailand. I know that's what I'm going to miss more than anything else is autumn, the four seasons in general, but mostly autumn. Not, not winter so much. I don't mind a winter wonderland or two, but uh, months and months and months of it, nah, getting tired of that. So, I'm going to be taking Steve to Thailand in November, and it's first time for Steve to go over there. Looking forward to that. Um, also, Pat, you may have seen him before in previous videos on our channel. Pat's going to join us over there too. So. Should be a good time. Looking forward to it. We're going to go to Krabi and uh, go play in the Andaman Sea. Go explore a little bit, play a lot. Anyway, and of course, we'll take GoPros and we'll get them as much of it we can as we can on film. Steve wants to go kayaking in the ocean. So I promised him we'll do that. And there's some caves that he wants to explore over there. We'll do that as well. But not today. Today, we still have some mountain to climb.
All right. Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcone. We made it to the top of Spar Peak. Whew, that was a butt kicker. A butt kicker.